All right, Coach, you just want to do an opening statement on just your second scrimmage. Sure. Well, uh, you know, we hit nine, the ninth practice, and uh, we're pleased where we're at. We know we've got a lot, a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, we've got six practices to go. Next weekend will be a big scrimmage. Uh, we tried to get about a half of a game in today. Uh, we controlled it at times, went live, uh, excluding the quarterbacks. Um, but I thought it was good play on both sides of the ball. I thought the defense flew around. I thought the offense executed. We had some good run runs, and we had some good passes. Um, but I thought it was on good, good, good football on both sides, and you could hear football today. Uh, so I'm really pleased with that. And you know where we're at is no different than where a lot of college teams are. You're going to have some guys out with some injuries, and we we've got a few guys back, but that gives other guys opportunities uh, to take advantage. And uh, you're seeing guys out there. You're seeing guys out there really taking advantage and understanding that every rep matters and seeing guys really improving. Coach, how close uh, in terms of like the offense are, are the guys to where you would like them to be at this point? Well, I think they've really picked up where they left off. And uh, I think there's a confidence when they're playing. And it starts up front, you know, our offensive line. Uh, we've got four returning starters up front. Uh, we've got a quarterback that uh, was all conference. And you got some receivers that have played a significant amount of time. So you can just see them playing with confidence. We were kind of talking earlier, you mentioned some good back and forth. Nehemiah had an interception there, yeah. kind of like what the defense was doing, too. Well, Nehemiah is just like a few guys that you're seeing a little bit more of in the spring that maybe got a little bit of reps. And uh, it was good to see him make a, make a big play, especially down there in the red zone. But he, uh, he did a great job. We had a pressure. Uh, you know, and it wasn't just Nehemiah making the play. We had good pressure with Matt Thompson. He got in the quarterback's face. And, uh, and Nehemiah did a great job of uh, reading it and breaking it underneath to make a big play. Obviously throughout practice during the week and, and even when you go through scrimmages in your spring game, it's hard to mimic exactly what you'll see mm -hmm. come the fall in terms of game-like speed. But what more did you find out maybe about some guys that maybe you don't see in a practice and then you put them in a game-like situation today in a scrimmage? Well, you know, it's, you're seeing guys that are getting more reps. And uh, obviously you try to mimic as, as best you can. Uh, we controlled it. We started first down and just put the ball down and went. And then we moved the ball around. We started it on the minus 40, moved it up to the plus 30, and uh, tried to put the defense with their backs against the wall and see how they're going to respond. And then we got into two minute, and we put them in a situation uh, where it was probably at the advantage of the offense, and the defense responded. And uh, two minutes to win the game, and uh, the defense, the one defense responded and made a big stop, and then the two offense went out there when we went the second time, and they had a nice drive to win the game at the end. How do you guys as a staff kind of diverge or more look at it when you know you got good and bad, and mm -hmm. just how you look through that good and bad to look at the different sides of the ball and how you determine maybe what's good or, good or bad during this part of the time? Well, I think what you want to see is you want to see a, you know, a, it's just like a prize fight. You want to see uh, back and forth, and uh, that's what you see out there. Uh, you see the offense doing some good things, uh, and then all of a sudden the defense responds, and then they start doing some good things. Uh, you never want to be one-sided, and uh, I thought both sides of the ball responded when, they're, when uh, things maybe didn't go their way, but that's part, of, that's part of football. And that's that's the good part of it, and that's what I saw today. I saw good on both sides of the ball, obviously not perfect. Uh, some improving that we can do, which we certainly will. We've got six practices that are going to be very important, and uh, we expect uh, – uh, to improve on those things. We have a lot of smart coaches here, but mm -hmm. one of the coaches I always enjoy talking to, besides yourself, is obviously Coach Hannes. Mm -hmm. He talks to his team a lot about of, look, at the end of the year, I can deal with maybe a physical mistake. Right. But we got to prevent those mental mistakes. This is why we work on it all off season, in practice, so that doesn't happen in the game. Do you feel these game like situations? Oh, there's probably some mental mistakes going on at this point in time of the year, but that most of the mistakes your group is making are physical mistakes. It's because they're trying hard. It's not the opposite issue that maybe you dealt with your first year. Well, I, this program is built on doing things that take no talent. And uh, you see it on defense. Uh, they play with ex excellent effort today, I thought. I could hear them out there. There was good communication. Um, you know, I saw one jump off sides, you know, things that can be controlled on a cadence. Um, but for the most part, you know, I thought guys were executing, knowing what to do and uh, playing fast. Uh, but, you know, going back to putting them in game-like situations, I think the more two-minute you can work on, because you can never uh, diagram what you're going to see in that time. you got to be able to think on the run. And, uh, you know, putting, uh, you know, Ryan Boyle or Jaleel or Curtis in those situations is really a great learning experience for them.
and uh, teaches them the game because you may not have it all 11 guys knowing what's going on, uh, but you better have that one guy knowing what's going on. That's quarterback because he's going to make us go, and you saw that today. You, know, you always go back and you watch the film as well. Have you watched the film of your burpee challenge, and how would you assess all three burpees <laughs> that you were able to pull off earlier today? Well, I thought the first one was good, um, but the, the other two needed some work, I, I would guess. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to see the, the people that I challenge go, because uh, I know one in particular is uh, quite an athlete, so I'm looking forward to seeing him, uh, him do his burpees. Any more questions? Okay.